So I haven't posted a deadlift or bench press video in a really long time, so uh, here it is. Um, I started off with block pulls this week. Um, it is a great deadlift accessory for working out your lockout, uh, which is when you're at the top of the lift uh, and you're locking out your legs. Um, I seldom do this um, this accessory, uh, not because it's you know not good to do or anything. Um, I just like to conventional deadlift, um, but you don't want to overexert yourself, uh, so it's good to mix it up. Um, conventional deadlifts really strain you; they're really taxing on your central nervous system. You want to avoid doing them uh, more than uh, every 10 days. Um, anyway, I worked up to 635 for two. Uh, I really had no idea, you know, how strong it was in this lift, so I just kind of went for it, and it was super easy. Um, you got to bear in mind that block pulls are way easier than a conventional deadlift. Um, I didn't go up uh, heavier than 635, not because I didn't think I could, but I wanted to um, save some energy for a, uh, a deadlift PR four days later, which um, was my birthday. So this is my birthday here. I wanted to hit a deadlift PR. Um, unfortunately, I think uh, the block pulls did strain myself a little bit more than I thought and while uh, you know these deadlifts I'm showing right here look pretty easy like this 585 felt easier than the 545 it was not hard but um, like I said it's taxing to do block pulls only four days previous to this so this is 645 for one I actually anticipated I'm going up heavier than this but I couldn't even get 645 for one so I shut it down after this um, you know, this is 635 for, for two. Uh, the form is awful. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry I'm making you witness that, but um, the speed's there. Uh, you know, I get it up, it's a straight bar and everything. Um, and I couldn't get 645 for one. I, I think the difference between a good day and a bad day is probably about 70 pounds. You know, it, it really just depends how good you're feeling that day. Um, and, you know, if you're going for a deadlift PR or something, I would recommend not doing it. Even if you've prepared for it, if you're not feeling good that day. So, I switched to bench. Um, 365 for 3 is something I've been trying to hit for uh, a couple of months now. You know, since I've, I took a break after my last powerlifting competition, I finally was able to hit it again. I've only done this once before, and um, I did it today, so pretty happy about that. Um, the spotter does help a little bit, admittedly, on the third rep, so I wouldn't fully count it, but I think even if we didn't touch it, I would have gotten it. Um, I mean, that was mostly, if not all, me, but he did touch it. Um, and this 335 for 5 um, felt really solid, too. Um, you see the spotter does touch the bar, but um, he didn't help. Uh, felt, felt really good. So I decided to do one more set after this uh, of 315, just kind of as a, a cool down. I got it for eight reps, so I was pretty happy with that. Um, and starting tomorrow or the day after, I'm going to start a peaking cycle because I'm planning on doing a competition in July and um, I want to start a program. Because as of now, I've just been going into the gym and basically doing uh, low reps. Um, you know, just, just how I felt that day. That's, that's how I would train. If I, if I felt good, I would go heavier and do the rep scheme that I wanted. But now I'm gonna try, um, try a program. So the first few weeks, I'm gonna start off doing um, very high reps, hypertrophy work, uh, and then towards the competition, which will be in about two months, um, gradually change my rep scheme uh, per week to, uh, to lower reps. Um, and that'll prepare me for the competition where I'm doing one rep maxes. So I'll keep you guys updated with that. Um, thanks for watching my videos. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. So ask away. Um, thanks for watching again. Uh, please subscribe. Bye.